What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kurt. I'm coming to you. I'm out here messing with my truck, my 87 Chevrolet R10, C10, you know. All right, so currently it's been over here. It's been chilling in the yard for the past uh, month, and, you know, I'm trying to get out here and find a side, and like, hey, I need to get out here and get my truck rolling. And as you can see, it's still out here. It's looking clean and everything. You know, it's holding up strong in the driveway, but it ain't going nowhere. The problem I had is I pulled out of a gas station, got mashed on the gas a little bit, and... Apparently after that, I, I got a couple sputters and the baby just shut down on me. All right, so when I go to crank it up, I got my spark tester right here, which you can see right there. I had that on there and I was getting no spark. I get one initial spark and I wasn't getting nothing else after that. So I got all my wires out up here. I'm isolating stuff. You know, I checked my coil. My previous coil, it was out of tolerance a little bit, but I don't think it was bad enough to cause an issue, but I replaced it anyway. And if you don't know, this AC Delco, this, oh, I'm sorry, this XL Supercoil actually has a higher output on secondary, so 10,000 compared to the 5,000 on the MSDs, on the MSD on Blaster Coil, whatever it was that I had previously. But I'm just going to show you here how to um, quickly test your MSD box to try to isolate and figure out what's going on with your vehicle as far as the nose start. All right, so what you want to do is you want to isolate the MSD6AL circuit, plain and simple. Three wires you're looking for. You got your two reds coming out of here, and you got your negative coming out of here, all right? The thicker red wire is your constant 12 volts. Your smaller red wire is your switch 12 volts. Your black wire here is your ground, and that's all you need, all right? So... And you got this wire here. This is for your magnetic pickup. All right, we get to that. So first of all, you just want to get 12 volts. I got a 12 volt battery here because for some reason my 12 volt battery on the truck is drained. I gotta isolate that problem as well. So I'm gonna get all that situated this time. But all right, so I got my negative going to my ground for the 6L, and I got my positive going to the the switch as well as to the constant 12 volts. And once you got power going to the box, you usually might get your status light on right there unless that light is for some reason blown. And then you just get you a little piece of wire. I mean, you can easily get you the little wrapper that ties your bread up. And all you got to do, even if, whether you're using your attack wire for the pickup or your magnetic coil wire, either one of them will trigger the box. It don't matter which one you use, as long as you use one of them to trigger the box. All right, so... It's easier to use this one because you just unplug it from the little thing that's right there. So you just grab, and just so you know, I don't use this for my pickup. I use a tag wire. All right, so because I got it hooked up to my um, Go EF55 tag unit. All right, so let's go stick this in here. I'm going to hold this right here so that you can have a good visual of this here and well you don't have a good visual so let me reposition this take this you just stick it in here like so and look at the wire over there and also you pull the wire that's coming off of your coil you pull the wire coming off of your coil out of the distributor you don't check it at the individual cylinders you check it at the wire coming off of the coil all right so what you'll do if you don't have this tool is you could stick a any type of screwdriver in here and put it, lay it across close to the ground and when you energize that circuit, it's gonna go to the area of least resistance and it'll jump and it'll arc from the screwdriver to the ground, as long as your vehicle is ground. But in this case, I have this tool here, so we're gonna be using this tool right here. So, observe.
can see I'm sticking this in here. And as you can see, my MSD box is working. Every time it makes contact, it is jumping. And as you can see, that's a pretty nice size gap right there. That thing got a very strong spark. Every time you break that contact, it's going to arc. Alright, so that's enough there. So I hope you're able to see that. Um, see that is a quick easy way to check your MSD 6A, MSD 6AL box.